Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy S3 and get it back to completely stock. Uh, you would do this if you had to send it for warranty purposes, or maybe you just want to start over after being rooted and loading custom ROMs. Either way, here's how to do it. Okay, so first thing, you must have a Windows computer to do this because we're going to be using the mSkip toolkit. Um, if you've used our rooting method, which uses the mSkip toolkit, then you already have it installed and you have the drivers and all that fun stuff. So you can actually skip this whole section two uh, and move on to section three. But if you don't have it already installed and the drivers, etc., then you just click on one of these, uh, whichever one is for your device. So this is Sprint T-Mobile and AT&T, and this is for the international version. I have the AT&T one here, so we're going to click on that. Scroll down in the developer's post to the download. Uh, click that and save it to your computer. Okay, then once it's downloaded, you're going to open it. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to search for an update, hit no. And then you can put in what model and build you have. So for me, it's going to be number one. And then you're going to hit one and enter to install the drivers on this computer. Uh, and then plug your device in and let it install the drivers. I'm not going to do that in this video because I already have it because I've done the rooting on the same computer. Um, but if you haven't, then go ahead and do that and wait for that to finish. Okay, then you can uh, go on your phone, go to settings, go to developer options, and make sure USB debugging is checked on. So long as it is, we're gonna plug the phone into the computer. Then we're going to go back to our computer and we're gonna click uh, type in number eight in this case, but it's whichever one is download, extract, and flash stock ROM by Odin. Hit enter. And we're going to hit number one uh, and hit enter. This way it'll download the stock Odin flashable ROM. Choose our model. In my case, it's the AT&T phone. And wait for that to download. Okay, now real quick, uh, when I tried to download the flashable Odin firmware, uh, it actually gave me an error so that it couldn't connect to the website. The place it's getting it from is samsungupdates.com. So I'm going to manually download it. Just gonna show you guys how to do that in case you get the same error. If you didn't get an error, then you don't have to do this step. If you did, like I did, then you're gonna wanna do this. Um, so I went to Samsung, samsungupdates.com and in this section here, I looked for my device. Now you can tell what device you need based on this screen, which is when I hit one and enter and ask me uh, what device I had. So you can tell here, it's the, you know, it's this part, SGH i747 or L710, et cetera, et cetera. I have this one. So I'm looking for the SGH i747 for AT&T. So on the left here, supported devices. And I'm gonna scroll through it. So I come to SGH i747, not the one with the M for me. Again, you're gonna choose your device model. This is, I'm choosing the AT&T one because that's what I have. Um, and then we're gonna see here, this file right here looks the same as these two. I don't know why they have three of them, but that's fine. So we're gonna click on it, download. And download. And we're gonna save the firmware where it would normally save it, where the uh, flashing program would save it, which is in my computer, C, the toolkit, put Odin images here, and save. Okay, and after you download that file, you're gonna type in two, hit enter, and then hit, type in yes, and hit enter, and wait for it to extract the file. After the .zip has been extracted to a .md5, we're going to hit four, and enter to flash the stock ROM, and hit two, enter. Hit yes. And then on your device, you're going to go to settings, developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked on, and then Plug the phone in via the USB to the computer. Okay, then eventually the phone will be 
uh, booted into download mode and this screen here in the toolkit will continue. And it's gonna tell you that you need to make sure that auto reboot and F reset time are ticked on. Uh, if you extracted the ROM and it's a single .tar .md5 package, which most of them are, you're gonna use the PDA button. If it comes out in different uh, uh, packages, one says PDA, one says phone, one says CSC, and one says uh, maybe bootloader, you need to put those in these corresponding places. But most of the time, you're gonna just have one file. Uh, and that's what we have in this case. So it's a .tar.md5. So we're going to click PDA and go to where we put the Odin image. And here it is right here. And again, make sure it's a .tar.md5. You can see that there. Hit open. And wait for it to check it. Eventually, it will say finish successful and you'll see the checkbox next to PDA and the name of the file. Then we're going to hit start. And wait for it to flash the stock ROM back onto the phone. Okay, and then eventually you'll see a big thing that says pass in green up here at the top. Uh, and that means it's successfully flashed. You can close this out. And then on the device, if you go into apps, you'll notice that super user permissions is gone. So we no longer have root. And we're gonna totally factory reset it if we want to. This is optional. If you wanna send it back for warranty purposes, you're gonna wanna do this. Go to settings, back up and reset, factory data, reset, reset device, delete all. And this will completely factory reset the phone uh, to the way that it was when it first came out of the box. So there you go. You now are no longer rooted, no longer have a custom recovery, and you're completely back to stock. Enjoy.